Hey, what's up guys and welcome to episode number 22 of Treasures of Iron. So as you can see, I'm actually doing QBD in the background and every single breath that I take or fire that I do take from the QBD actually hits me for about 1,800. That is because I'm using my two-hand chaotic stuff, meaning no dragon fire shield, as well as I'm using normal anti-fires, not super anti-fires. So I do use a lot of food on every single kill. I've only done one so far, probably going to do a bit more in the future, probably in this episode even. Uh, but yeah, currently I use a lot of food, but there you go. I did get my first kill, and as you can see, I used like every everything in my pet, as well as almost all the food I had in my inventory. But the first loot was not too bad. Bad. I got some rock tails and I got 30 rune ore which is really good to be honest and then obviously the dragon bones the royal bolts and the hides but anyways I'm going to get into some samurai now as you can see I did about 17 kills in one trip now and that is with using anti poisons um, and uh, like prey potions which I only pray like normal magic and sometimes I use the uh, if I use metamorphosis I also pop the other magic like I don't know, 5% damage increase and in accuracy, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. But I could do about 17 kills in one trip, which is really good in my opinion. And I'm absolutely going to keep doing that until I get some subjugation armor. Uh, I'm not sure if subjugation armor is like a lot better than the uh, war priest armor. I think it's the same level requirement for it. However, subjugation is very good when it comes to slayer. And like, I think it's better for bossing actually because it gives you a damage increase. It's power armor as it's called in runescape. But yeah, I'm really happy to have done 17 kills in one trip, and uh, I didn't unfortunately get any subjugation items. But you will see in the end what I will get. Uh, I will get something specific in the end. But yeah, I, I'm really happy to be able to do that many kills in one trip. And anyways, I'm going to get into some more bossing this episode. This episode is going to be all about bossing, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. I had five crystal keys in my bank and I thought why not just use them on the crystal chest. So let's see what we do get from all these five chests. We get a dragon stone. Obviously you always get a dragon stone but then you get something else after that. Two torch stones, not too bad. I'm going to open these quite quickly. Three rune bars, not bad. Even more torch stones, rune plate legs, not bad alchemical. And then we have three rune bars as well. So this is the overall loot we get, but the most important thing I guess for an Iron Man to get is the Dragon Stones which you always get. So that is 5 Ring of Wealth or Glories, which is really nice. Alright guys, I'm going to tell you guys a plan I have. So as you can see I have almost 700 Dragon Bones because I also have 28 Bone Meal which are Dragon Bones as well. And I need about 2000 Dragon Bones to hit 70 Prayer. Now, a good way of getting Dragon Bones is actually doing QBD. And I really want the Royal Crossbow, so I thought why not just try to get as many QBD kills as I possibly can and see if I can get any good drops from it as well as I at the same time get dragon bones now as soon as I do have a decent amount of dragon bones I do have some now but I want to get as close to 2000 as possible probably not gonna get there in this episode but when I do get 2000 dragon bones I'm going to uh, use them all on the ectophantos and I'll get 70 prayer from that and when I have 70 prayer I can do the king's ransom quest and be able to use the rigor and uh, aug augury and uh, you know piety all I can of prayers which are very good before you get curses so that's what i'm going to do now i'm gonna try to get uh, some qbd kills and let's see what we get as loot and there we have it kill number one for the day which is overall kill number two for the account that is pretty sweet we got a new record of four minutes which is obviously quite slow but i have really bad gear and overall really bad pots but let's see what the loot is and we get some snapdragon seeds, some sour bruise. I don't say no to sour bruise though, so I'm going to bank that and do another kill. Kill number two. We have three more to do for my reaper task, so I think that's what we're going to do for today. But let's see, I'm going to turn off these prayers. Let's see what we get for the second kill. And we get some magic logs and some super restores. All right. Kill number three, I did actually try to use a one hand and an anti-dragon shield, however the kills were just way too slow, so I didn't want to do that, but let's see what we get. And we get some raw sharks, just to add to my stack, I guess. Number four is down, we need one more to complete the reaper task, which should give us quite a decent amount of experience in reaper points, let's see what we get from this one. That is a decent amount of herbal experience, really nice. There we go, the last kill for the reaper task, and we did get 5000 slayer experience and 10 reaper points, that is really nice. And the reaper points are very good to have now, even though I don't really use the hydrix yet, but let's see what we get. Magic seed, alright, I can use that in the future for farming, quite cool. 
I said the episode will be all about bossing, however, what would an episode be without any clue scrolls? Now, I did get a clue scroll which actually has a requirement I don't have, which I'm really surprised by. But what we have to do is actually complete two quests. The first one is Sogur Flesh Eater, which is apparently very easy to complete. Then after that, we have to at least start the Rum Deal quest. I'm not sure if we have to complete it, I'm gonna have to look that up. But anyways, let's complete Sogur Flesh Eater. This should be it. The end of the like 15 minute quest. It was extremely easy to do. So let's see what we get for this quest. We get one quest point. You can now make brutal arrows and cure disease potions. I am not sure what the hell that means. And then also we get 2000 ranges mirror fletching and herb lore. That herb lore experience is quite nice. But anyways I'm going to uh, check up if we actually have to complete rum deal. Or if we just have to start it. And uh, we can actually complete this clue. I just want to give a quick shout out to this guy right here, Vos Deef, because I think his account is an amazing account. It's an Iron Man and he has 86 defense with no other combat stats except 99 summoning. That is quite an achievement and I think that's an awesome thing to do for an Iron Man and uh, yeah, props to you man. Damn, I was killing Samurak and uh, yeah, an ad actually dropped the gauntlets that I need to complete my set and I just got crit for fuckloads. But yeah, I'm going to kill this one and show you guys the loot before I end this clip actually, so let's get the kill down. Um, I'm getting a fair amount of kills every single trip and I've been killing it off a camera, you could say, for a while. Because I don't want to show you guys every single kill if it turns out I need like a hundred kills to get a piece. Uh, but let's see what we get from this one. And we get coins, alright. Anyways, I'm going to pick up this item and equip it and replace the um, mystic gloves that I did have. But I've also got a decent amount of uh, wine of Samrax. I think I have like 100 in the bank, so we're like 132 now, something like that. But yeah, that is Warpriest Gauntlets out of the way, and I think I'm at like 68 kill count on Sammy, maybe? 102 kills in, I get a Gold Sword Shard 2, which is actually the first item I get from Sammy. So I'm actually going to uh, give up on this boss for this episode, but uh, yeah, let's get into some other stuff. Let's just go for a reaper task, and as you can see I got three giant molds, but I don't really feel like there's any use of doing that boss. I'm going to ask for another assignment, let's see what we can get. Yeah, remove that. And I get Krill, really, like, straight after I couldn't be arsed doing it. I'm gonna skip that as well, I really don't mind, like, I, I want a different assignment. And we get full experience, yes I do understand that. And we do get Dagonoth Kings, yeah, I'll do 11 Rex. And for the last kill of the assignments, this is the loot by the way so far, and we get a Mithril Warhammer, no use for that, but obviously I get like 11 uh, Dagonoth Bones, which are quite good for prayer experience, and I also got like a drop of, I think this is 80, I can't really see though, but yeah, I think it is 80, and I don't know what I'm gonna use those for, but I think it's used for summoning, but overall quite decent loot. Alright, so you might be thinking, what's happened to that hard clue that I was working on? Well, that's what we're at right now, and as you can see, I'm at 40 farming right now, which was the requirement to be able to start ROM deal, and actually complete the step that I had to do to get to this place right here, and I should be digging around here, I think, uh, and there we go, we have completed that step, and the rest of the clues should be easy, so let's complete it. Surprising, what do you have for us? Let's see, and you have for us... Mystic Air Staff. This reward is absolutely worthless and it's re-rollable, so that's what we're going to do. This is actually hard clue number 71, which is quite a lot of hard clues I've done so far, but let's re-roll this. Confirm and we get- what the hell is this kind of reward? Bis 14 biscuits, 20k cash, we just lost like 12k. Alrighty then. When I said that this episode will be all about bossing, that was just a prank bro, so just chill out. Um, I'm actually going to finish up the episode by doing a bunch of hard clues. And uh, all I'm going to do is simple enough just kill hellhounds for the clues and then complete them. And I'll show you guys the rewards of them. Alright, old old man, I would like to thank you so much for that absolutely worthless clue. Please, please, please don't make me press this crazy and get something extremely worthless for my account. Let's see what we get. I can't believe you've done this. This hard clue we can actually reroll, so let's open it. And we get uh, the most standard reward ever, but 82k and we can reroll that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do and confirm. And we get another very standard reward. Please give me that awesome reward. And we get actually not that bad of a reward. Uh, these costume skipping tickets, I'm actually going to bank those and have a look at how many I do have. I do have uh, 12 at the moment, so that is not too bad. I have 6 not skipping tickets and 9 puzzle skipping tickets as well.
What I'm going to do is open this casket right here, and then the next one we can actually reroll. So I'm going to get one more after this one and complete that one, and we're going to conclude the episode with that. And my dog just snored big time in the background. But anyways, let's open this casket, and please give me something good. And we get... What kind of reward is this? Some arrows, actually multiple arrows, then a rune two and age just chilling out. And there we have it, the last casket of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, but anyways, we can reroll this, but let's open it and see what we get. And we get another very standard hard elite, uh, hard elite, hard clue, uh, 140k, nice Lombiard teleports, not really needing them though, but I can reroll this, so let's do that. We have done 77 hard clues, which is not too bad, but let's confirm that. And we get, what kind of rewards am I getting, honestly? But yeah, I'm not going to do more clues for this episode or any more bossing or anything like that. But yeah, that is going to be the end for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.